and a lot of tennis to be played as we head back to Wuhan. This video is brought to you via the Doctrine of Fair Use, the Fair Dealing, and we're also covered under the Digital Millennium Act. Yulia Putinseva, she would go three sets with Donna Vekic. It wasn't pretty, but she would get the job done. Three double faults, only winning 56% of her first serves, but that was enough to get past Donna Vekic as she had 16 breakpoint opportunities and converted on seven. Donna Vekic is out. Barbora Kachikova, two-time, two-time Grand Slam champ taking on one of Coco's besties. Now, Coco said last year, watch out for Haley. She has a good chance to break the top 50. She is really, really good. And listen, guys, I think Barbora found that out today. She would come through qualifiers, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. And she would get the victory. Upset alert, upset alert, complete. Haley Baptiste, the world's ranked 102nd. She has now won four matches in a row. She came through qualifiers. She only dropped one set, and that was to Layman's. That's right, guys. She also took out Diane Perry, add by board to that list. She improves to 41 and 25 on the year. I said this time and time again, Haley is a younger version of Ans. That's right. She's a great shot maker, great variety. Great top spin. She, the way she handles her racket, ladies and gentlemen, she's highly skilled. I just want to take a look at the first set statistics in this match here. If you take a look at how Haley did it, 6-4, five less unforced errors, one extra break, break point converted, and total points six more, 31 to 25. She won nearly 80% of her first serves, and that was enough to get the victory. And look at that technique. Look at that serve. She's very skilled. Watch out for her. But Norda Para taking on Dasha. This is a good to watch. Uh, this would go the distance, ladies and gentlemen, but Dasha would prevail. She would come out on top. Five aces, but eight will fall. Remember, guys, there was a stretch there a couple years ago where Dasha was on that do not just that double fault list where I said, watch out, guys. She makes a lot of double faults. Bronzetti was on that list. Elisa Mertens was on that list. Gabriella Elena Russe was on that list. A lot of players that just beating themselves with the poor first serve. And eight double faults. Despite that, she would win about 70% of her first serves. Four for eight on breakpoint opportunities. She gets the victory. Other scores on the day. Sabalenka, she defeats Katarina Sinyakova in straight sets. And what about long head? Don't care. Leila Fernandez takes out Kabela Rakimova. That was a very good match. Magdalena Frasch takes out Emma Navarro. The upsets continue to happen, ladies and gentlemen. And what about Coco? She's back in action. Could she keep her win streak alive? Tennis in a minute. Stay tuned for that video coming up next.